<laughs> okay now it is included so we can get how many error do we get now okay a little bit less 75 oh not in here in here so 75 uh, oh this is a function not a member so we need a parenthesis there as it will not know that it is a function okay it, it oh we haven't created the width and the height variable so int width uh, and height okay we just created those and uh, 100 okay tile size is tile size oh okay probably it will uh, decrease the number of errors now okay we just get two height oh then I write, uh, write it wrong, a mistype. Hi, uh, an I. Okay. Now and uh, that size was not declared. Oh, I know what the problem is. So we because we uh, not inherit, we we can you we have to use the base class colon colon ties oh oh bracket so base class colon colon tile size so I just use the swap or what is that it called and I, I just uh, change all at once so I don't have to manually change all okay it's compiled so we can try to run the program so the first time I got segmentation error failure or how does it called okay so the background is loaded but the foreground is not uh, so the show my function hmm. good question hmm. oh it is not equal uh, 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 how is this called an exclamation mark I forget this exclamation mark here and obviously that's not good uh, usually I the compiler will give error if you use a normal equal sign so an assignment operator inside an if statement I don't know why it's not give a warning uh, about that so now it should work uh, yeah it's working uh, it is a little hard because uh, you know it is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, green and the background is green so it's a little hard to see but it is here as you can see so basically we have it now we want uh, to actually make the scrolling so let's make the scrolling uh, in the logic section and the logic section will be on all the handle events so here is the logic section okay so if direction so if direction zero so if we press the left key then uh, for now I just move the camera uh, obviously later we will move the player and add more things in here so make the camera dot x plus plus and make the base class chord dot x plus plus okay I always uh, mistype this uh, word okay so if the camera that x is uh, greater or equal than 2000 which is the width of the picture minus the screen width then we just set the cam cam camera dot x back to zero so probably you should know what is this from the side scrolling tutorial and if camera dot x x is less than zero then we set the camera x to the coordinate 
which is 2000 minus screen width. Uh, yep, so probably should know what is this. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I write it wrong, sorry about that, we don't need that. And because the left key is pressed, we use the minus minus instead of plus plus, as uh, our the control will be inverted. Okay, if we go to the other direction, we use the uh, greater or equal than 2000 minus screen with the uh, and we set it back to zero and we use plus plus. Okay, as I said, this the camera. Okay, here it is. So the camera will go here and when it reaches this coordinate, actually the right po uh, part of this rectangle reaches this coordinate, then we set back to zero. In the different direction, if we go in here and if we reach the, uh, so if we go less than zero coordinate, we uh, jump back here. So that's why it is endless. Uh, but as I said, you should probably know about this. Okay, and we uh, increase and decrease the absolute coordinate, obviously, not just the camera coordinate. The camera coordinate only need for the background. The absolute coordinate need a lot of things, like uh, uh, set the... So, yeah, uh, show the tiles and so on. So, now we can compile the program. Green with. Oh, we that uh, okay, and here too. Now, okay, so nothing happening if I just pressing the keys. So, uh, this is the one, but not that cause the problem. I use an as if here, just for the better performance. I don't know. Really. Oh, that was the problem, that there was two zero. Yeah, the uh, first is just decrease and the second increase, so that's why it's not moved. Okay, so yeah, copy and paste. Okay, as you can see, it works quite good. As you can see, I can move the camera with the arrow keys and everything seems that the is part of the background. So the background and the foreground move uh, move the same, basically. Uh, yeah, that was pretty simple and straightforward until this point, isn't it? So probably I will take a little break here and I will continue the tutorial next time, probably uh, today. Uh, with the implementing of the player class and make the show map the optimization as I said. And um, that's it. Okay, so thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay, I get back and we can continue. Alright, so as I said in here in the show map we can do some optimization because uh, we don't have to show all of these uh, uh, blocks, tiles, just the tiles which are inside the screen. So as you can see inside that red, red rectangle. So we don't have to show this and we don't have to show anything in this uh, way. Okay, uh, so we have to round the values to the nearest uh, 50, uh, uh, so the value which is dividable by 50. Okay, so first of all we get the coordinates, so base class, uh, colon colon chord dot x, this is the x coordinate, and we have to uh, round down to the nearest 50. So we uh, just use, uh, so we just subtract the base class 
colon colon chord dot x and uh, I use the modulus operator and 50 so for example if we have 24 then we use the 24 minus and then uh, base less chord x so 24 uh, modulus 50 that's 24 so we use the zero coordinate and actually we have to divide the whole thing by 50 okay I use parentheses because the division has a higher uh, uh, precedence okay so I just divide it by 50 okay this will be the star start coordinate and we need an end coordinate so that's how sh uh, for should the uh, loop goes so this is the base class chord dot chord dot x plus base class chord oh chord dot width and we add the 50 minus this class chord dot x and we add the base class Chord dot width, and we use the modulus separator again. So we, oh, by the way, this 50 should be tile size, hmm. tile size, and this is inside the base class as well. So base class colon colon tile size. Okay, it will be a little longer, but don't worry about that too much. Okay, and we then finally we divide the entire thing by 50 with 50 by 50. Okay, uh, oh, we use a parenthesis right here. The parenthesis right here. That's right. Okay, so we round up in this second line. So if we have 26, for example, then we add the width of it. So, uh, okay, it's a little hard to explain, but uh, uh, we do that. If some part if is visible, then we just uh, render that part if some part is visible here then we render that part uh, it's a little hard to explain how does it exactly work but uh, if you just uh, think two numbers in it and try to uh, calculate so this entire thing then uh, you uh, you soon realize that one what is it for basically if it if something is in the screen then we show that's what it means very uh, so basically okay we start from the start coordinate so which we uh, calculated right here and we end of the end coordinate so now we only show what is on the screen we don't show anything else okay we too okay and uh, Oh, we have to use int, okay, because we just declared these. All right, now we can compile the program and run it. Okay, uh, you probably don't see any difference, I either, uh, but uh, it is, so which is not seen on the screen, it is actually not showed, but it, what the frack is that? Okay, seems very weird. Something is very wrong. 
Oh, I know what is it. 